Do you really need wedding stationery? Everyone has a different opinion on this and of course it's up to you, but here's my argument on what should make the cut. Ciao, I'm Lucy, Italian wedding planner at Whisker & White and founder of La Lista. My mission is to help couples planning Italian weddings have a really nice time doing so through clear and honest advice. I'm here every week with an episode to support you in your planning. So I'm a huge fan of stationery as a creative and I think it's a really gorgeous part of the wedding experience for your guests. It adds to the whole atmosphere of your wedding and in a way it's kind of like your wedding brand. So this is the most important stationery that I think plays a part in a great wedding. Firstly, the save the date. This is the first announcement people get of your wedding. It sets the tone for the whole thing. I think you should make it count. The menu, this is really important. People love to know what they're eating and if you double it up as a name place and give one to everyone with their bespoke menu on, then they're gonna know exactly that and you're probably not gonna have any problems with dietaries or people asking the waiters for different meals as well. I also think a menu is a really important part of the table design myself. I love to use a menu in a way to make the creative aspects all come together. The next most important stationary item is the table plan. I can't do awkward at weddings and I hate watching guests queue to find their seat, look for their seat on the table if there isn't a table plan or like wait at a table looking for their escort card. None of this is good and guests actually get quite annoyed. A good table plan just does the trick. Like it's there, it's clear, it's in place. Everyone knows what a table plan is and they can just find their seat. They get there quicker, everybody sits down and you don't kind of waste that time with people finding their seats, which just eats up into your wedding party. So they're the kind of must haves, non-negotiables for me. And then items that I love if the budget allows, a good invite obviously it's the next part of the journey it can lead to your website it's really clear and it's easy for guests to use i always put mine on the fridge i just love a nice invite bit of an odd one but a welcome note this you could even do yourselves but it's just the loveliest way to get guests excited and feel really welcomed when they're somewhere different and also make them feel really important it's a really good mechanism to remind them of all the events that you're going to have and any other details that they need to remember i also really like an order of service even a really really simple one but it kind of adds formality when you see guests get given them when they arrive at a wedding they're kind of excited they want to look at it they want to read it they want to see what's going on and it guides guests through the ceremony and depending on what your service is like you know it's likely to be a bit different you're either going to be having a symbolic wedding so a slightly different ceremony if it's an Italian civil wedding that's going to be quite different for guests and if it's in any way religious that's also going to need some guidance. One of the nicest ceremonies and order of service I ever saw was a Hindu wedding because that was quite a long service and it had so many different elements. I think it had 16 different sections and so many things happened in the ceremony. But the way that the bride wrote this order of service meant everybody could understand what was happening at each part and what it represented. And it was so nice to take them through it and guests all commented on it afterwards. I had so many people tell me how helpful and nice that that was. The final practical thing is a bar menu. So if you've got a bar menu up there on the bar, you know, slightly drunk guests are gonna go up to a bar, speak to some bar people who may not speak perfect English, trying to communicate, it's all a bit messy. If the bar menu's there and it says the kind of five drinks that they can get, it's just simple and clear, especially if you have a cash bar and there is money involved, often there isn't, but if there is, just knowing what things cost and having it all there for the bar people to just point to is so much easier for everybody. So that's it. I love stationery and I really think you should have some elements in your wedding. Some of it is such a practical tool to help guests through your journey. In other ways, it's just a really beautiful, nice to have that adds to the atmosphere of your day. Thank you for joining me for this episode. If it's been useful, please like, subscribe or comment below. It really helps me reach more couples that are planning their Italian weddings. Thank you, I'll see you next time.